Thomas Edison once said, I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. This specifically applies to us and what our team dynamic is. We have come up with several project ideas, most of which we shut down the doors on after thorough research and evaluation, and each of them have become a stepping stone throughout our journey to the faux fond, our final project. One of Thomas Edison's prominent traits was his firm belief in persevering, allowing him to make boundless progress with many of his inventions, such as the phonograph, the telegraph, and the motion picture camera. The phonograph especially leaves us in awe. He figured out how to record sound using a tinfoil covered cylinder, an incredibly unique and creative discovery. The dream he told for seemed impossible at the time, but instead of dropping into a chair, wiping sweat from his forehead, and saying, well, I got pretty dang far, might as well pull the plug now, he continued to persevere day and night for hours on end. His achievements are glorious evidence of the assertion that through honest, hard work, we can accomplish almost anything we see in past the impossible. Another one of Thomas Edison's inventions captures the spirit of what we're trying to achieve, the telegraph. The telegraph is a machine designed to improve the efficiency of sending letters and make it electrical. It saved time and energy for all those involved and inspired the modern email system. Just as Thomas Edison influenced the lives of the regular person, we wanted to help the ordinary person with their day-to-day -day lives. Each of us came to robotics with the lively hope to make a difference. Our focus for this project was the actual people. Our goal was to find a way to impact a large scope of unhealthy and unhappy people. We are Daisies on Wheels, a group of 7th graders who joined robotics for the first time at the beginning of the school year. Our names are Naisha, Kata, Isa, and Suda. Throughout the season, we analyzed our problems that the world faces and figured out ways to solve them. Thomas Edison's efficiency inspired us, so we decided to solve a problem related to efficiency, the unloading time at warehouses, which is where we got our idea from, the folk farm. After extensive research, brainstorming, and discarded ideas, we honed in on the issue in today's transportation industry for truck drivers. We found that for truck drivers, their mental and physical health take a step back for their work. Exercise, sleep, and a healthy diet are lacking in the average driver for frantic life. Some truck drivers actually use programs which will wake them up when they start to fall asleep while driving. We looked specifically into what caused the truck drivers so much delay, and we found that truck drivers had to wait in line at warehouses in order to unload and reload their trailers. On average, it takes for two hours for the actual process to finish. Originally, we tried to create an app where truck drivers could book time slots for loading at warehouses on a Waze-like app, but then we realized that this wasn't actually the problem at hand. The process of loading and unloading itself is a bigger issue in the transportation industry. Since truck drivers are paid by the mile, the precious time they spend unloading in the warehouse costs them the money they should be earning while delivering packages. Not only are they sacrificing their health, but sometimes they aren't getting paid for it. Our new project idea came gradually as we investigated further into the issue, but we finalized on redesigning a truck trailer so that it's easier to unload and reload. In our project, the faux fond, the surface layer of the truck, or the false bottom where all of the cargo sits, sits in the back of the truck on wheels, and the side of the truck slides upwards and folds on top of the truck like a garage door. The false bottom slides out of the truck with the cargo strapped on, and then slides down a ramp on casters using forklifts. Our original prototype was a drawing, so that we could transfer our thoughts onto paper. Then we built a flimsy cardboard prototype, and ended up going to our school's engineering lab to manufacture a more stable and realistic prototype pieces of wood to represent our drawing, and in order to build the garage door-like side of the truck folding on the top of the truck, we screwed T-rails on the side of our prototype. The T-rails allow for the easy opening of the door. Inside of our prototype, there's a false bottom that slides out. In the actual faux fond, the false bottom will be on wheels and there will already be forklifts and casters. We've already begun marketing it on social media and have received encouraging praise from many people after looking at our idea. We've presented our idea to many people in the trucking industry, such as, such as Jenna Solomon and Thomas Blanford, who have told us that our idea would improve their lifestyle. We're tremendously privileged to attend a private school, which has a network of connections accessible by students where we can present our project and earn funding for it. Our idea will hopefully encourage truck drivers to stay in the trucking industry, and the massive shortage the transportation industry is experiencing in truck driving, listed as the 17th worst job in the world, will decrease. Not only that, but millions of people who are currently extremely unhappy will live a healthier and happier life. With our idea, truck drivers will be able to visit their family and friends more often. They will have more time to exercise, shower, sleep, and eat properly. They won't lose money every hour they're in the warehouse loading, and overall, truck driving will become a more enjoyable experience for them. We have one goal. Transform the unstable life of a truck driver transporter.